Hi Coin Don viewers. This is my first part of a three-part series on the coinage of the Straits settlements. In this first part, I will bring alive the coinage and the history of the Straits settlements when Queen Victoria was the reigning monarch on the throne. I will be showcasing some lovely coins from the quarter cent denomination to the silver 50 cent pieces in my collection. We'll also be sharing with you historical trivia on the Strait Settlements and Queen Victoria. So watch till the end for I will be giving you on the all important key date coins to be collected. Some of these coins have become scarce because of their limited mintage and demand for them. The Strait Settlements were a group of British territories located in Southeast Asia, originally established in 1826 as part of the territories controlled by the British East India Company. In the year 1867, the Straits Settlement came direct under British control as a crown colony, and in 1946, following the end of Second World War and the Japanese occupation, the colony was dissolved as part of Britain's reorganization of its Southeast Asian dependencies in the area. Next, I'll be showcasing my personal collection, and if you like it, Please give it a thumbs up guys. My interest in coin collection started long ago when I received one of my first straight settlements coin, a Victoria 1 cent. And from then onwards, my interest and knowledge on the straight settlement coinage have never stopped. And so as my collection. Here is a sample of the coins. I have in my personal collection. This is just a sample of my collection. As a matter of fact, I got a complete collection of Straits Settlement coins and I'm really proud of it. I keep on looking at them because they never fail to amaze me. And here is a little history about Queen Victoria. She was born on the 24th of May 1819. That was the year Sir Stanford Raffles discovered Singapore. And in 1837, when King William IV died, Victoria became Queen of the United Kingdom at a tender age of only 18 years old. Victoria was single when she became the Queen, and in 1840, she married Prince Albert of Saxe Coburg and Gotha, her first cousin. They were married till the death of Prince Albert in 1861, and they had nine lovely children. The oldest child of Queen Victoria was Princess Victoria. She was born in 1840, and her eldest son was Prince Edward, who was born in 1841 and Prince Edward became King Edward VII upon the death of his mother, Queen Victoria. The youngest child of Queen Victoria was Princess Mary. She was born in 1857. She spent her childhood as a companion to her widowed mother and spent the remainder of her life editing her mother's journals. And here's a little legacy about Queen Victoria. With the exception of Princess Louise, her daughter, each of Queen Victoria's children and many of her 42 total grandchildren married into various royal families across Europe, creating a web of family connections that span the continent and earning Queen Victoria the nickname the Grandmother of Europe. And coming up are the smaller copper and bronze coins. For the quarter cent, the material used was either copper or bronze, depending on the year. 
and the weight of the coin was about 2.33 grams and please collect the key date coin which is 1883 for the 1883 coin is really scarce next the half cent coins they were also made of either copper or bronze depending on the year and the weight of the coin was about 4.66 grams and the key date that you should collect is the 1889 and that's the coin I'm showing up there and as for the one cent coins they were also either made of copper or bronze the weight is about 9.33 grams and you should collect the key date coins which is the 1886 which is very rare and the 1898 the straight settlements were governed by governors who were appointed by the colonial office and the governors during, during Victoria's reign were the first was Major General Sir Harry St. George Ord and the last governor during Victoria's reign was Sir James Alexander Swettenham. And now let's look at the silver coins. The first five cent denomination, it's made of silver. It weighs about 1.35 grams. And take note, collect the key date 1876 H coin. H was for Heaton Mint. That was where it was minted in England. And as for the 10 cent coins, they too were made out of silver. The weight of the coin was 2.71 grams. And the key dates to collect are 1876 H, 1877 and 1883. Look at the beautiful design there. As for the 20 cent pieces, they were really beautiful. Look at the gorgeous design. The material used was silver. The weight is about 5.43 grams. And take note, the key date coins are 1871, 1873 and the 1876 H. These are the coins that should be in your collection. And now for the lovely 50 cent pieces. By far they were the largest denomination during this period. The material used was silver. The weight was 13.57 grams. The key dates that you should look out for are the 1893, 1889 and the 1897 coin which I've just put up there. And these coins, you got to be a little careful for there are many fake ones in the market. You got to be very careful to check the material used, the weight of the coin and also the inscriptions and the key date. During the late 1800s, these coins had a lot of value. You could buy a lot of things with these coins and they were very rare. There were some really interesting historical events that happened in Singapore during the reign of Queen Victoria. For example, in 1873, Victoria School was established in Kampong Glam. And in 1886, Anglo-Chinese School was established in Amoy Street. And in 1887, the famous Raffles Hotel was established by the Sakis brothers. And in 1888, did you know, the Singapore Fire Brigade was formed. And very interesting, in 1901, Singapore Kranji Railway was officially open to the public. And that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the historical facts and the information about the coinage of the Strait Settlement. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Watch out for the part 2 of the Strait Settlement coins coming next and it will feature the coins of King Edward VII who was the son of Queen Victoria. 
Have a great time watching the video guys and share it with your friends. Till then, bye.